So, there seems to be some confusion about how to conjugate a regular ER verb. But, what does it mean exactly to conjugate? Remember, each form has a specific ending. So, let's take parlay, for example. Parlay means what? Right, it means to speak. So the first thing is you have to take off the ER and you have to add on an E for je, so it's je parle, an ES for tu, so it's tu parle, an E for il, elle, so it's il parle, elle parle, an ONS for nous, so it's nous parlons, an EZ for vous, so it's vous parlez, and an ENT for the il, elle plural. So that's il, elle, parle. You can also think of conjugating like connecting puzzle pieces. Let's look at these two puzzle pieces. Je and parle. Je is in the rouge or red. And parle is in the bleu or blue. Look at the way parle is shaped. It looks like it can fit into the je puzzle piece. I'm willing to bet it can, and I know why. Do you? Well, let's see if it fits in there first. Boop! It does. It fits perfectly. Why is that? Well, it's because whenever you have je, you always have to have an e at the end of your verb. Let's zoom in and check it out. In this case, we use the verb parler, and indeed, the e is what makes the je and the parl connect. Let's look at tu now. Tu is in the rouge or red, and parl is in the bleu or blue. Parl looks like it can fit into the tu as well. Let's see if we're right. Boop! Yep, it sure did. And why is that? Let's zoom in again. Notice how the ES made parl fit into tu. This is because you always need an ES when you want to use the TU for an ER verb. Now, let's look at the il l in the rouge and the PARL in the bleu. It looks like PARL can arrow nicely into il l, right? Let's see. Boop! Can you think of what made them fit? Your answer should be because the E on parle makes it fit. So, then you should be thinking to yourself, for il and l, you should always put an E on the end of your verb. Let's take a look now at nu. Here, we are faced with the same problem. We need to make the puzzle pieces fit together, or in other words, we need to conjugate them. Does it look like parlant in the bleu will be able to fit inside of nu in the rouge? Boop! Yep. And this shouldn't surprise us. Why? It shouldn't surprise us because just like the ONS on parlon made it fit into nu, we always need an ONS on our verb if we are using nu to say something. The same goes with vu. Boop! The EZ made it fit into vu, so you always need an EZ when you are using vu. And with il, elle, pluriel? Boop! No exceptions. The ENT on parle made it fit into the il, elle, pluriel puzzle piece. So that means that whenever we use il, elle, pluriel, when we speak or write, we need to add an ENT. Here is a T chart of all the puzzle pieces we just conjugated put together. 
Remember, this only works for present tense regular ER verbs. We'll investigate other puzzle pieces when we learn how to conjugate IR verbs and RE verbs. We'll learn even more puzzle pieces when we learn how to say things in the past, in the future, and everything in between.